Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Hey, I'm your Korean dad. A lot of people are always asking me about Korean barbecue. You know, Korean barbecue is one of the most popular Korean foods that there are. And for good reason, because it's delicious. So I'm here at Samon Garden in New York City, and they told us that we could have pretty much anything on the menu. So let's check it out. Let me teach you all about Korean barbecue. Let's go. I'm really hungry, aren't you? Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is the cooking service. There are different kind of cooking services that you'll find depending on the kind of meat that you're grilling. And this is like a little vent fan so that you don't get too smoky. It still gets a little smoky though. At some Korean barbecue places, the server will actually prepare the meat for you. In other places, it's more do it yourself. In some places, it's kind of up to you. But the tools of the trade, you'll see little tongs and kitchen shears. Kitchen shears like this are very important to Korean cooking. Okay, they brought us some panchan. Did you watch the panchan video? If not, here's a link so you can see it. We have a really interesting set here. We have some like green salad, some marinated peppers and onion, fried anchovy, cabbage kimchi. This is some kind of sweet pumpkin pantan. It's like a little bit of celery. And this is actually kind of potato salad. Potato salad is a little bit more of a palate cleanser than anything else. I think the pumpkin thing's like that too. They also gave us a little marinade tray. We have some salt and pepper. I think this is... It's kind of a tangy marinade. And then we have samjang, which is kind of a spicy soybean sauce. So while we're waiting for our meat, I want to talk about one thing that's a big misconception about Korean barbecue. You know, in a lot of other cuisines, like having a lot of meat like this would be like having steak or something else, like your main course. In Korea, if you're having Korean barbecue, it's really just an appetizer. And then after you have your barbecue course, you're going to have some kind of rice and maybe soup. We call that shiksa. It's sort of like your main meal. It's not wrong to eat just a Korean barbecue as your main meal, but just know that that's not typically how Koreans eat cream barbecue. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Got some different cuts of beef. This is called kot sal. Sal means meat, but kot means flour. It's really about describing the marbling that you see. This is something you sometimes see at Korean restaurants. It's called keran jim. It's kind of like a souffle omelet. It's really yummy. Like a little bit sweet, eggy. This one has truffles and cheese on it. Amazing. This is called nokdu chun. It's a chun. It kind of is like a savory pancake. Sometimes you'll see pajun or hemul pajun at restaurants. It's a pretty common and popular appetizer. This one has seafood in it too. Okay, let's start with the kotsal. This is unmarinated short rib. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, let's eat. So this kind of meat, you just kind of almost want to eat just with a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, wow. So when having Korean barbecue, we really like to start with the sort of more delicate, nuanced flavors first, and then start moving toward the marinated stuff at the end. It's kind of like a lot of things that you eat, you want to sort of go in that order, otherwise the really heavy stuff kind of dominates the flavors of the more delicate things. You can put it in a plate like this and eat it from there. You could eat it off the grill. It's gonna keep cooking, but if you can eat it quickly enough, you know, you're good to go. This is called kalbichim. It's a braised short rib. Kind of got to cut it up because there's bone in there. See, there's a bone. Kalbik jim tends to have a little sweetness to it. Sometimes it can be spicy. Sometimes you can actually get varying levels of spicy depending on what restaurant you're at. Now we have some pork belly. This, in Korean, this is called samgyeopsal. Samgyeopsal means like three layer meat. So, you know, pork belly is kind of where you get bacon. You kind of have the fat layer, the different meat layers. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Probably the same thing, a little bit. Mostly just salt and pepper. Sometimes just salt. Mmm. Makes me want some kimchi. One classic pairing for meat like this is actually like the salad. The marinated salad. Especially with a little bit of the red pepper dressing. Korean food is all about experimentation and creating different flavor combinations in your mouth. But don't be afraid about rules. Just Eat what you like, try it different ways. But kind of like I talked about in the Panchan video, try putting different combinations in your mouth at the same time. It's how Koreans eat. Now we have our final meat course. It's called Yangnyam Kalbi. Sometimes just called Kalbi. Kalbi just really means short rib. Yangnyam means like marinade or seasoning. So this is a marinated short rib. In a lot of ways, it's kind of the king of Korean barbecue. You know, I'll tell you, people really like Korean barbecue a lot, especially Kalbi like this. And I always think it's funny because Though I really think it's delicious and really great, 
The fact is that what makes it really delicious is really the marinade. You could put a marinade like this on a lot of steak and it would taste really yummy too. But sometimes when people are making things like steak, they don't necessarily want to put a sauce or a marinade on it. They feel like it kind of messes things up. But when it's Korean barbecue, people are like, give me the marinade, I don't care. It's sweet and delicious, meaty, yum. Okay, let's talk about this stew a little bit. This is called kimchi jjigae. Jjigae is a general word for like certain kinds of stew and kimchi is kimchi. This one's pretty traditional. It's got pork belly and tubu, also known as tofu. The Korean word for tofu is tubu. Let's try a little bit. Hot. Mmm, that's really good. There's just a depth of flavor in the fermented kimchi and the meat, the tofu, everything. It just really, it's just a, it's just so flavorful. I can't explain it. A chicken like this is just another thing to eat with everything else. Like I said, with Korean food, just bounce around from different things, going from this to that and the other thing. It's really one of the things that makes Korean food so fun to eat. Okay, it's kalbi time. This is already marinated. You can just kind of eat it plain. You can eat it with any other panchan, especially the lettuce. Let me just have it straight. Wow. Wow. Like I said, it's kind of the king of Korean barbecue for a reason. A good yangnam galbi is all about like, the right balance of marinade, the acidity, the sweetness, and the meatiness. How it all kind of plays together, it's so juicy and delicious. Oh my gosh, so good. So that's it, that's Korean barbecue. If you're a meat lover, I mean, this is kind of heaven, isn't it? If there's a Korean restaurant near you, especially a Korean barbecue place, you'll find that it's really approachable and really delicious. It's not the kind of food that has a lot of rules to it, so feel free to jump around like I've been doing. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Panchan's for making all kinds of flavor combinations in your mouth. Have you had Korean barbecue before? Is there one of the meats that you like more than the others? Let me know in the comments below. I love talking about Korean barbecue. I really like eating it too. Mmm. Mmm, chicken meat. Mmm.